first meal eliminating all of my food sensitivities as a pescatarian it's gonna have to be a lot of salads and stir fries and maybe soup I'll have to look into other things I'm sure there's different forms of bread I can buy I think rye was on my good list buckwheat things like that so it's not going to be too bad it's just a matter of um you know I'm used to eating pretty much the same thing every day which is quite common for autistic people I usually have eggs and veggies for breakfast I'll have um like tuna sandwiches and stir fries with noodles and things like that and yeah I'm just um and then I eat out too much so whether that be like McDonald's or Subway or a and I'm really bad at that sushi so I can't have any of that anymore because I can't have soy I can't have certain breads I can't have dairy I can't have pretty much everything out there <laughs> but yeah I guess it'll be subway salads if anything but I'm looking forward to this because I just have a lot of health concerns so um, hopefully this will help me feel better especially in terms of pain and weight loss Hello, I'm officially on day one of eliminating my food sensitivities and with that essentially it goes to low carb lifestyle as well as pretty much saying goodbye to all restaurants and eating out. Um, what else? No more going spending seven dollars on a coffee, a singular coffee. Um, I know I've brought this up a lot, but in the past year and a half, I su successfully beat three eating disorders and just with balance and moderation and not going on extreme diets. So I am a little worried with that. Um, going back to being, having to be really restrictive, but um, I really just need to do this for myself, for my health, and I'm hoping that because I've been able to stay out of those bad habits, like, it's impulsive and it's like, I shouldn't be calling it a bad habit, but, um, and I'm not exaggerating, like, literally 20 years on and off of these eating disorders, so, um, but I just wanted to share, I'm very distracted, my cat, my dog, my... <laughs> Ew. <laughs> um, I just wanted to say that right away I'm noticing I have really bad rosacea but it seems a little less bad today um, so I'll probably like keep track in these videos about what I'm noticing each day another thing I'm noticing is I don't have any discomfort in my like stomach no bloating and that um hmm what else was I gonna share about that mm. oh <laughs> I'm gonna try to do like a 30-day detox of makeup as well because because I have so many food sensitivities and a lot of things end up in makeup like whether it be soy or who knows what um even things like aloe I'm not supposed to have I'm gonna go without makeup for a month and just see if that along with eliminating my food sensitivities like helps with the situation with my skin mm. yes yeah, sorry I'm a mess <laughs> and I'm gonna use grains next time, but for protein, there is protein in vegetables, but there's hemp parts in there, which is packed with protein. A giant salad, and it lasts me pretty much till dinner. I have to get in the habit of falling 
in love with the way food tastes because it's like, yes, I do love vegetables, but I think I love dressings and mayos and aiolis more. So my diet is now going to consist of a lot of salads since I have so many food sensitivities, but I am going to go out there and shop and get some more grains and things that are okay for me. Like I wanted to get rye bread the other day, but it had soy in it, so I couldn't get that. So I'm going to have to be selective and probably go to Whole Foods or something. But yeah, so far so good. I mean, nothing's wrong with a salad. It's just that it's like salad for breakfast, stir fry for dinner. <laughs> I have lentils, so that's what I'm going to do for dinner tonight. Day one and a half of eliminating my food sensitivities, which includes eating out, no junk, no... So many things. Um, I think my rosacea is looking a bit better. I feel like my skin might be clearing a bit if I leave it alone. And I have been extremely tired probably from detoxing. Like, I could sleep 10 hours and it's not enough. But um, I feel like a bit of mental clarity, though. I feel like a little bit of, like, a fog is lifted or something from sugar and carb overload. I haven't had a coffee yet today either, so that's a good sign. Anyway, I'll just keep taking these little shorts of updates and things I notice. Talk to you later. I think it's day three of uh, eliminating my food sensitivities. And one thing is, um, one thing I've been dealing with for a while is like a white tongue. And I was a dental assistant, but it's so long ago, I can't remember what it is. I don't know if it's thrush or what. Someone said it's from eating a lot of sugar or something. Um, but... You know, I thought it was from like whitening toothpaste or something like ruining the good bacteria, blah, blah, blah. But um, it, it was still there after making some changes. But um, I'm on day three of eliminating my food sensitivities. One thing I'm noticing is like my scallop tongue is going away. That's something that has kind of come on in the last few years. Bit better. So I'll keep <laughs> tracking that this week. Anyway, um... My skin's looking pretty rough because I tried to give it a good exfoliation today. But um, other positives is I just feel like I have um, a lot more like mental clarity, less brain fog. I feel like I'm less tired and and less, you know, stomach issues and um. I'm down two pounds on the scale, so that's good. It's not, um, I ha I'm not doing low carb, so I didn't get the big, uh, you know, normally you'd like lose 10 pounds of water right away, or that's what I used to being so high in my weight. But, um, I, I'm not eliminating fruit, absolutely not. <laughs> I need the fiber. I need fruit to be like my dessert so I can beat my sugar cravings. And today's the first day I'm getting out of the house, so I'm just gonna go walk around and stretch my legs more. It's been raining all day. And try to look for a bread that's not part of my food sensitivities. Like I'm not supposed to have not supposed to have it for bread Dur durum wheat there's even potato and some kind of breads not supposed to have that um, spelt sunflower seed usually there's sunflower oil in a lot of things soybean oh wheat in general I'm not allowed uh, 
I'm not allowed oat. I'm not allowed yeast. I'm not allowed, like, <laughs> but I am allowed rye. So rye bread, hopefully. <laughs> well, the other day I looked at it, rye bread and I was like, yay, at least I can have rye bread. But the ingredients had something in it. I can't remember. I think it was soy. <laughs> So I'm going to check Thrifty Foods later, and if they don't have any options, I'm going to try Whole Foods later, and I have a feeling that they would definitely have options. Alrighty, talk to you later. One thing I've forgotten is my love of cooking over the past year or so, and I put a lot of veggies on everything. <laughs> this is probably why I never get sick. Like, literally in the three years since COVID began, or almost four, I only got COVID once and maybe like one other sickness for a very limited time. So although I am a disabled person living in chronic pain, thankfully I don't get sick often. From fully equipped kitchens and outdoor cooking spaces to cozy fireplaces. Although I look pale and sickly, this is um... <laughs> probably the five day mark of eliminating my food sensitivities. Um, my makeup's a freaking mess and, but just wanted a little bit of, um, more videos before, before and after. Chickpea pasta, just chickpeas and lentils. That's all the ingredients. So awesome. 10 out of 10, except the box is like five, six bucks for a small box. I cooked half of it and I actually have a lot, so for tomorrow and maybe even the next day. So actually I think that's well worth it because considering all the money I used to spend on eating out, really good. Hi everyone, I'm one week into my food sensitivities elimination diet. And so far, um... I'm just slowly creeping down on the scale. I thought I would drastically lose a lot more in the first week, but I'm still getting quite a lot of carbs with um, different veggies and lentils and chickpeas and sauces and fruit and stuff, but I feel really good and um, I don't want to eliminate much more sugar or carbs just yet. I want to see how things go since it's so restrictive as it is like I have to eliminate so many foods and then I um I'm not eating out at all I'm not having pop I'm not there were a few times I got Starbucks coffee unfortunately with um coconut milk and and um but other than that um I feel like one thing I noticed right away about my face is my eyes seem a lot more bright and open. <laughs> my eye color's like popping. My eyebrows haven't grown back yet. Um, you know, sometimes I wonder about Hashim Hashimoto's, but I uh, just because, mainly because the eyebrow thing and a couple symptoms, but I don't want to look into that because I have too many diagnoses. I'm not willing to look into anything else. I'm just going to heal my body and ignore everything. <laughs> but um, as for rosacea, I think it's um, looking about the same. Um, I need to leave my skin alone. I'm not working as much lately, so I'm getting back into some of my bad habits. I have something in my teeth. <laughs> anyway, um, oh, tomorrow morning, since I've already like eaten all day and everything, um, I'll do a body shot, like take photos of where I've been in the week uh, in progress. And then I'll post tomorrow sometime. But yeah, so far I'm like, pretty damn proud of myself because I haven't gone a week of not eating out like once like something um, all the fast food crap um, it's you know it's been good to like cook for myself get back into the habit of doing that I kind of am like looking forward to 
prepping and stuff and freezing things and having things just to have once in a while and like not eating everything I make and and yeah I kind of forgot some of the benefits of cooking for yourself but yes we'll see what tomorrow brings and thanks for your support please like comment subscribe bye <laughs>